Oh uh, yeah, I'm Jake with Amplify and this is... Seven day week, or two fifths of... Seven well, do you want to say who you are first, what you do in the band? I'm, uh, I'm Callum and I sing. And I'm Tom and I do guitar and backing vocals. So, where's the rest of your band gone? I think they're currently moshing to the this heavy band on the tour. <laughs> Think. The heavy band is on it. This is true. The supporting this is true. <laughs> can't blame him, honestly, can you? So, what made you guys pick your band name? Oh, this question. <laughs> um, basically, it was snowing where we're from. So, we were off school for. It worked out, we were off school for seven days, and then one of our friends said, Oh, it's like a seven day weekend. And then he said, Oh, that'll be a good band name. And then we yeah. made a band. Still you made a band purely so you can no, no, we, that name. We just coincidentally made a band a few months, years later, and here we are. Seven day weekend. Fair enough, then. So, um, what made you guys want to play the genre that you do? I don't know. I guess it's just like bands you listen to. Like, the stuff we listen to now, like Lone Atlantis and Don Broco. Young Guns. Yeah, young Don guns. Broco have brought out a new song recently. Yeah, yeah so you want to know. It is amazing. It's the best song. That is, is that's amazing. one of their best songs, I think. Yeah, by far. I'm excited for the next album now. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be insane. Anyway, getting off the topic, who are your idols? Have I already asked you what your idols are? No, you haven't. No. Right. Who are your idols, like in music or in life <coughs> or whatever? Uh, I think musical idol is uh, probably Gustav out of Young Guns. Like, he's what I want to be. Like music wise, and then uh, I'm a big football fan, so I think Steven Gerrard's my <laughs> idol in, in life. He's a legend. Yeah, that's about it. Um, well, when I was started playing guitar, I always listened to Red Hot Chili Peppers, Big Life Drum from Shante. And he's the reason I got my first guitar. So can't really say no. Chili Peppers are always a good place to start. Yeah, yeah. Really, no. So if you guys had one word to describe yourselves, what would it be? As a person or as a band? Person and, and band. band. Yeah, we'll get with that. You can go for that. Uh, as a person... <laughs> collected. What? Yeah. No time collected. I'm um. crying. Uh, I think I'm snazzy. <laughs> snazzy. Snazzy. <laughs> as a band, I'd say... Pretty annoying, to be honest. Yeah. Quite I think you're to, not to that Well, we, we used to be, like, our first EP was considered, like, an annoying, like, generic EP, but I think we've, like, you know, made a sound now, I think. Yeah, you, people, I, I think I, we're a bit more respected now towards... I saw you guys at Warrington Festival, I think it was. Oh, really? shit. Yeah. When I did my car thing. Did you see the end of the set? I, it, all I want. Oh, did you want? Yeah, I, I came. Uh, I, I was leaving, then I heard you announce that you were playing a day to remember song, so I walked right back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I actually told my car on that day. I was on stage and I just felt something. And I had to sit down. <laughs> and then I, I stood up and finished the set, and then we got off stage and it just came back completely, so I, just, I was on the floor. And then I was vocalist 101 right there. I was, I was just going to uh, like get up, get in the taxi, go home. But uh, this, this woman in a green uniform came up and was like, What's she doing? She's like, I'm paramedic. I was like, what? And then she said, right, you're going to have to get in the back of the ambulance. So I was in the back of the ambulance for about an hour after going to the music festival. So not exactly what I expected, but... It's a good gig, though. It was a really <laughs> good gig. Yeah. Massive stage. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. And naturally, the iPod's closed. Top of the range question thing here. Right. In the music industry, if you could choose anyone, who would you choose to do a collaboration song with? Ooh. Sounds like they were just fine. Uh, like Rob Damiani from really? Don Broco. I mean, like him on a song. Yeah, just oh, having him. It'd be cool to meet him, but I'd, I'd say it'd have to be a girl. I'd say to collab with uh, Nina Nesbit or something. She's my juicy girlfriend. And she's really fit as well. <laughs> Use the collaboration purely as a chance just to meet them. Just so it's like, right, we need to speak now. <laughs> There's no way of escaping this. So, what's your dream thing to happen at a gig? Like crowd surfing or the crowd singing back to you or anything? Any like that? Exactly what just happened out there. Then. Yeah, anyone. I don't know if it was genuine or not, but everyone was going crazy. Any crazy audience dancing. participation just is like it makes you makes the gig just seem a lot better. Just knowing that people are enjoying. Yeah, it. like 
and even like when we were playing there and then when we were asking people to jump in the gym, everyone was enjoying it. It's just because there's less people down yeah, there. It doesn't look as sincere as it actually is. Yeah. It was uh, everyone needs it. Yeah, that's the vibe that you get, isn't it? Like, it's just like it serious or not. I suppose it is. That's I suppose if you want the crowd to join in, and you have to put some energy into it as well. You can't just like you can't all stand, stand there and still. accept you them. You can't to expect it, can you? Like, because then they'll just. So that's like, one thing we always try to do is like put as much energy and try and get as much energy back. I guess. Like standing on stage, going, guys, move, <laughs> yeah. please. please. <laughs> Does it work? <laughs> so if you had one day. And anything that you did in this day will not be remembered by anybody, and no one would know. I just saw an eyebrow raise then. Um, whatever you did, no one would remember it, no one would know what you'd done, but you'd remember it. What would you do? But were you thinking so nothing rude? No one would remember it. No one would remember it. Oh, how could you do that? Would that be rude? <laughs> I'll try, I'll try. Uh, I don't want to hear what you're about to say. Nah, I'll, I'll try. We, were, we all think it, it's just we're not allowed to say it. Go on. Oh, no, it wouldn't be remembered. Uh, Oh man, I don't know. Uh, I think it'd be funny just to walk through town, just completely naked, just completely calm, just walk straight through. Uh, that's a bit. I think that'd be funny, though, isn't it? I bet twenty bands before. It's Only two. two I think. Oh, just the two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh man, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Go on stage naked, like just walk out to the crowd and everyone's like. I'm sure they'll like it at some point. Maybe Probably a band that's already done that at some point. <laughs> if you climb or if you sing. Can you rage against the machine? It all done it. Just sure. stood there naked. As a protest. Nothing wrong with that, is there? <laughs> Probably naked. <laughs> so you just walk around naked for the day? <laughs> that's terrible. Just getting naked. Why? That's not even. I'd want people to remember that. <laughs> yeah, he's that guy who got naked on stage. Like, it's a unique selling point. Do it then. Right. Well, uh, whatever floats your boat then. <laughs> so, what's your worst experience as a band? Uh, Playing in Brill. Oh, <laughs> oh, we played a gig in there uh, in Brill and it was. Think of anything bad that can happen, it happened. Drums broke, sound was awful, two people in the crowd. Uh, we were supporting a metal band that were apparently really heavy. Really heavy. Yeah. We'll say no more. And, uh, yeah, it was just, it was a train wreck, it was awful. And then we went home and forgot all about it. It's just like, just remembered it just We like, don't talk about real, yeah, we don't talk about real. We had a, a show in, was it Hollyhead? And then it got cancelled like a oh, yeah, week before, so they like rearranged it for real. And then it was just like... Because oh. we played in Hollyhead and you'd think, oh, Hollyhead. Like, Hollyhead was there at Hollyhead. And uh, it was at this pub. So we got there on, in February last year on the tour. And uh, we got to this pub and we was like, what is, what's this? What are we doing? And then... We got in on the night, we went to this backstage area, we couldn't see the entire pub, like it was in this, this room. And uh, we got out of the room and there was like, you could hear the noise coming in, and we was like, when we got on the stage and it was sold out, they sold the pub out, and we was like, what, what's happening? And then we played this amazing gig to all these like brilliant people, and then after the gig they were asking for autographs and stuff. <laughs> but my theory is that they saw that it was a band coming from England on a tour, and they thought, oh, they're going to be massive. So they must have <laughs> yeah. just thought that we were massive. <laughs> And started like coming over to us. This was supposed to be the worst experience. It was it? the. <laughs> we sorry. It <laughs> oh well, we were going to say worst and best, but oh, we just decided to go pessimistic. Oh, I, think my, I think my worst. Feed, feed was the best. My worst, uh, like not gig experience, but band experience was uh, at the hotel in uh, Barnsley. You went there, were you? And we uh, we had like a, a messy night, and and I was apparently stood just talking to the guy saying, uh, John Lennon's possessed me. <laughs> They told I was, I, he wasn't there. Oh. I, apparently, I was stood, completely gone, and I was like, John Lennon's present. I'm John Lennon. I was convincing <laughs> that I was John Lennon. And I woke up the next morning, they were like, Did you realise what you did yesterday? I was like, Sure, no, I didn't. I didn't do that. But that's pretty embarrassing, isn't it? I think that's something that I wouldn't want to be remembered. And now it's on camera, so here we go. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> no one else is drunk. As well. <laughs> Just me. So, what did you think of the local music scene around here and Amplify in general? I, uh, I've i always been a massive fan of, of Amplify, like the way it's set out. Like, the first time we came, we didn't know what to expect. Like, we heard of Amplify, you want to do a gig with Amplify? So, we was like, cool, yeah, let's go. And how, I didn't expect the. How is it this time compared to how it was last time, by the way? Just I think I, it, there. it might not sound like the best answer, but I think it's exactly the same. But that's a good thing, because last time we walked in, we didn't expect the facilities to be as nice as this, for the to be like an interview room and then. 
a really cool our very own backdrop there. and sofas and our fancy that. camera. We didn't have all this last time. And back that backdrop and these sofas. Oh, and what were the sofas like? They were red, weren't they? We had, no, we had like them chairs out there. The chairs out there. The chairs oh, there. really? Yeah, and the stools behind it as well. Oh, wow, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think it's plush now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We're going off in the world. Last thing, like both times we've been like, there's been much heavier bands on like before and after us, so we've expected it to be really good. Like, with it's, like, it's always been like, even though the crowd are coming to watch like bands like yeah. Bison and stuff. It's, I think that's the best thing. Seems like, to music, so. There's a there's a dead nice atmosphere to it because like yeah. we don't feel as scared coming up on stage when Bison have played and then this is true after. Started with acoustic stuff today. So yeah, and then that set the stage. When it came to the heavy bands and then us, like I didn't even feel that worried because of last time it was the exact same. And it's just they'll completely be open about everything and just listen to your music. And if they dig it, regardless of it, scream or not, it's, it's whatever they enjoy. And luckily, it seemed like they enjoyed it. So everyone's pretty really open-minded around here about music. It's cool. It's honestly though, it's nothing like worried. Warrington, Warrington, <laughs> Warrington's music scene is metal, 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 and if you're not a metal band, you I remember Warrington Festival, it was tense, to say the yeah, least, it's... tense. But, yeah, yeah, it's, I don't know, I prefer, I'd rather play Amplify every week than Warrington every week. But, uh, Warrington needs an Amplify. Warrington yeah, needs an Amplify. Something, something like Amplify. <laughs> yeah? Like, I mean, th there's like, if, you know, what, it's like, like, our old manager Lee, He's like started this thing called Warm Is That Warm to Music. So WA that's doing, from yeah. Warrington. Like, like, that's easy. started to get the scene a lot better, I think. It's he's started to bring like bigger he's bands. Play, he's in. bringing like natives and blitz kids yeah. and bands like that to, so to Warrington. What he's doing is pretty, pretty good for. I think if that if that takes off more, like bigger and bigger in Warrington, then that'll yeah, he's be He's getting really bigger cool. bands in. So. Yeah. Good luck to him. Good luck, Lee. We have competition. <laughs> we have no, competition here in Northwich. Guys, I'll say that on camera as well. Right, ooh. Finally, three words to describe Amplifier. Oh, we did this last time, what were uh, It's mandatory, don't worry. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Uh, happy, open, creative. and uh, creative. Creative. Uh, happy, open. I saw, I saw, you, you just looked hard. Oh, no, you didn't. Does it say on that board? No. Oh, I'm just the, the fact that yeah. there's a board. Uh, yeah. Happy, open, and uh, warm. Get a warm atmosphere. From Metal. <laughs> Ping pong. <laughs> and ping pong table's new, I think, innit? We had some tense games of ping pong. <laughs> we was... I we saw you guys playing before when we were playing um, Jenga. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, uh, it was tense. We had a few fallouts, but we were alright now. Okay, I promise. You so guys were on the table tennis, Turin were on the football and we were on Jenga. It was... It's just good boys. time, good time. See, you would never find that anywhere else would you? Two bands playing different sports at a music gig. Unheard of but <laughs> maybe it should be done more. That's just the Northwich way. Oh, it's what that. we do here. That's how we the make things work. But they're above the underground. Middle 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 they're from, I thought they were Middle. from Chester weren't they? No it says that but they're off about from like they're Middle 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 Loving it. <laughs> we'll make a special effort here in Amplify to get everyone to learn the lyrics. Every single lyric to every song of every EP. <laughs> every, by my, by our band. It's on camera now that I have to do this. Okay. <laughs> make sure of it. So yeah, that's about it. Cheers for the interview, lads. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Cheers. Thanks a lot.